Senator Santorum, I want to pick up on this debate. You say Attorney General Holder must be under the influence, and in fact you've suggested perhaps smoking mushrooms, to want to try terrorists in civilian court. Are you also suggesting that Congressman Paul is under the influence? Well, uh, any, anyone, anyone that suggests that Iran is not a threat to this country, or is not a threat to stability in the Middle East, is obviously not seeing the world very clearly. He sees it exactly the way that Barack Obama sees it, that he has to go, we have to go around and apologize for the fact that we've gone out and exerted our influence to create freedom around the world. I don't apologize for that. I don't apologize for the Iranian people being free for a long time, and now they're under a, under a malocracy that, that uh, tramples the rights of women, tramples the rights of gays, tramples the rights of people all, all throughout their society, and is the greatest supporter of terrorism in the Middle East and around the world, and is setting up training camps and is working with Venezuela and other countries in our, south of our border to threaten us. This is, the, the, Iran is a country that must keep, be confronted. I was, in front of the, I was in front of this curve. I authored the Iran Freedom Support Act back in, 19, excuse me, in 2004. It was blocked by Joe Biden, nonetheless, and Barack Obama once. We got it passed. And I can tell you, if Rick Santorum and when Rick Santorum is president, Iran will not get a nuclear weapon because the world as we know it will be no more. Cong Congressman Paul, 30 seconds. You've heard the war propaganda that is liable to lead us into the sixth war, and I worry about that position. Iran is a threat because they have some this militants there. But believe me, they're all around this the world, and they're, excuse me, they're, they're all around the world, and they're not a whole lot different than others. Iran does not have an air force that can come here. They don't have, they can't even make enough gasoline for themselves. And here we are, you know, building this case up, please, please, uh, they're building up this case like, just like we did in Iraq, build up the war propaganda. There was no al-Qaeda in Iraq, and they had nuclear weapons, and we had to go in. I'm sure you supported that war as well. Yeah. Okay. It's time we quit this. It's time. It's trillions of dollars we're spending on these wars.